Marsha, tell us, first of all, how have preparations been going so far on your UK tour? Um, so far, the preparations have been going fantastic. Um, we arrived in London two days ago to play against GB, and that was um, really good for us, a good experience. It was part of our selection phase as well. So it gave us a great opportunity, number one, to play on the Olympic pitch, and number two, to also see how some of our players fare against um, the world's greatest um, players of GB so I think that that was really good for us um, despite having lost those games we're really positive about our team performance and where we're heading as a South African unit um, and now it's Scotland and it's a completely different phase as we've um, cut two players from our squad and um, it's going to be exciting as we start to focus more on London. You've got some experience of playing Scotland last year, which was negative for you, positive for the Scots. What have you learned from that experience that you can take into this series of matches? Well, our last experience against Scotland, um, we probably were extremely fatigued um, at being back of the Champions Challenge tournament and taking uh, along with us a whole new squad. So um, it was quite, quite a dif difficult um, trip for us, but um, we obviously know that the Scots are going to be confident, but we're also really confident in what we, we are doing as a team and also in the fact that this is going to uh, contribute hugely to our preparation for the Olympic Games. You qualified for the Olympic Games by beating India 3-1, which was a fantastic result. How far do you think you can go in London this summer? Well, our aim in London is to um, to occupy a spot in the top eight um, by the end of the games and I think that we're quite capable of doing that. It's going to be tough, it doesn't matter which pool you're in, it's a tough competition and everybody's going for gold but I believe that our team is quite capable of, of achieving the top eight. As a, an aspire, young aspiring hockey player, mm. uh, one of your idols was Gillian Montague who of course was the first black woman to play for South Africa. What does it mean to you to be following in her footsteps and leading your country out? Well, um, as a youngster, I grew up watching her play and I think that she was extremely inspirational, um, not only on the field but off the field as well. Um, she then went on to coach us and getting to know her as a coach and how much passion she had for the game was, was just something that I truly admired. So um, to be able to sort of follow suit and hopefully be as inspirational as she was, I think is something truly special. And um, it's people like her that have definitely paved the way for, for players like myself. Well, we wish you good luck with this series. Thanks. Thank you. Mm -hmm.